So yesterday we talked about justification by faith and so somebody had asked about justification by faith or by works and of course that gets into a whole discussion that um, where there was a division that occurred within the church between Luther and um, between Roman Catholics about justification by faith and justification by works. Um, and there was a real misunderstanding about that at the time of, of the reform. Um, the Catholics would talk about how you cannot just have faith and then not do anything. And um, Luther wanted to make sure that people understood that uh, it wasn't your charity and your works and so on that were gaining you merit for heaven, um, but that it was really the gift of God first and foremost. And um, Catholics didn't deny that, but at the same time, they were placing such an emphasis upon works and placing an emphasis on indulgences and so on that um, it, it was something that needed to be reformed. And so Luther took it to one extreme. And of course, in reaction to that, then Catholics said, well, you can't just have justification by faith without charity at all. Uh, and they would cite James chapter 2, verse 14, where it says, What good is it, my brothers, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister has nothing to wear and has no food for the day, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm, and eat well, but do not give them the necessities of the body, what good is it? So also faith itself, if it does not have works, it's dead. This has been a 500 year division um, that, that finally uh, came to uh, a discussion in ecumenical efforts, more so in the United States than any place else between Lutherans and Catholics. But then eventually um, the world youth Lutherans along with uh, the Vatican came together uh, in October 31st of 1999, and they signed a declaration. It was a joint declaration on justification by faith. And um, they, they both came to a, a recognition that they had been placing an emphasis on one or the other. And so they agreed to the fact that justification was a gift that comes from God and that a person received in faith and that, that faith then was lived out in Christian life through various charities and so on that can be called works. That's what, that's what James is talking about. So they healed that division and came to a joint understanding of uh, what Catholics and Lutherans both believe in, um, even though there, there is a different, slightly different kind of emphasis on the Lutheran side than the Catholic side. Um, they both have an agreement over justification by faith as it's lived out in Christian charity. One of the things that we will always want to do is to continue to pray um, for the various communities that are coming together, theologians as well as Christian communities, and are working on this effort of unity. Um, we, we see the fruits of that ecumenical effort in something like the Joint Declaration which profoundly healed uh, a 500 year division between Lutherans and, and Catholics. And, um, and there's other ways in which these ecumenical efforts are, are bringing about a healing between various communities. Now, of course, we're not completely there yet, so we have to continue to pray in the, in the words that Jesus prayed for at the Last Supper when he prayed that his disciples might all be as one. And so, Lord, we continue to pray for that unity among all Christian churches um, to begin to recognize the common elements of our faith in Jesus Christ as it's lived out. And we pray that where there are misunderstandings and miscommunications, that those may be healed and that our churches may continue to, to move towards that unity for which Jesus prayed.